Well, what do we have here? I didn't believe it when Lino reported the Ebon Hawk had docked, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Lieutenant Gren, Sith forces have breached the module and are attempting to pen us up in the compound. Damn! Zeron! I need you and your men to break through and lead the assault. With pleasure, Lieutenant. All right, follow me. It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere, and the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. We were unprepared, and the docks were quickly overrun. We retreated back to the entertainment module to evacuate residents and workers. Thanks to your help with rooting out the smuggling ring, we were able to equip some of the soldiers with the confiscated weapons. Then there's also the fuel situation. Because we don't have enough fuel, we won't be able to keep the station in orbit and operational and fight off the Sith at the same time. We'll try to make the best of what we have left, but it's going to be cutting it pretty close. The Sith numbers seem limitless, but we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. If you need to get to the Ravager, then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? I thought I saw you disembark with Beodur. Is he here? Now that you mention it, where did he run off to? HK-47 also. I guess it's no time to be swapping war stories anyways. Good luck. Sith are trying to hold us up in this compound. We need to break through or our reinforcements won't be able to move out. Now let's punch a hole in this Sith barricade. Let's <laughs> go. 
Thank goodness you're here. We just can't seem to make any progress against the Sith line. After they established their position, they brought out their turrets. They've been devastating our numbers. Uh, we managed to take a few out, but they just keep unloading more of them to replace the destroyed ones. It's up to you to help us throw them back. We gotta get them cleared out of here, and then we're ready for one last charge. All right! Everyone provide covering fire for the Jedi, then advance on the Sith positions. We'll be right behind you. Good luck. More where that came from. I hear you. Well, I'm not dead. I guess that's something. I got hit by a grenade. I, I just barely missed the whole blast. Ugh. They're, they're moving ahead towards the TSF office. It's tough going, though. The, the Sith, they seem to be everywhere. Well, that's a relief. Of course, if we can't stop the Sith from destroying the fuel controls, it won't matter one bit. No. I'm going with you. I'm not doing anyone any good here. You will not face this alone. I will go with you 
and be by your side. I would have it no other way. Sir, Sith warship dead ahead of us. It's attacking Citadel Station. Let's close the trap. Concentrate all fire on the warship and deploy red and blue wings to engage enemy fighters. Sir, at this distance, our weapons will barely scratch it. We can't hope to match its firepower, but we need to draw it away from Telos. Sir, if it keeps firing on Citadel Station, the station won't be able to maintain its orbit. I am aware of the situation, Lieutenant. I do not intend to lose Telos twice. And I know that ship. It was a Malachor V. securing the area. The vessel has suffered extensive structural damage, but its particle fields still maintain a minimal atmosphere within the ship. And our cargo? It's being brought aboard. Soon, teams will be dispatched to the target sites. Do the Republic forces suspect? No, Mandalore. The proton cores do not emit a signature the Republic ships can detect. If they do pick up the signal, they will assume it to be emanating from the ship's missile bays. Did you get an ID signature on this vessel? You were right about the vessel, Mandalore. It is of Malachor. It still bears the wounds of Mandalorian guns. Then let's finish this. And remind the galaxy of Malachor V. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about, Sith. You are coming with me. Don't get all sentimental. I just don't trust you to get the job done. Been waiting for this for ten years. It's just time to do things the old-fashioned way. I know what it meant for you to accompany me here, Candorus of Clan Ordo. Your trust honors me. If you betray me or my men, I will kill you. I was going to say the same, Candorus. <laughs>
wants to die first? <laughs> 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 Signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. Only one proton core remains to be set. We're encountering heavy resistance. I don't know how long we can hold out. What the hell was that? I told you to wait! Mandalore, we have made contact with the enemy. And one of the cores has detonated prematurely. Was it in the target zone? No, Mandalore. We have failed you. I offer you my... Do we have another core? No, Mandalore. Even with the other two cores set in the ship, it will not be sufficient to destroy the vessel. We need to find another proton core, or we need to make one. All right. Wait for my signal. This isn't over. And don't kill yourself before I tell you. Destroy the ship on your command. Have you come to kill me? The final insult. Stripping Onderon, my soldiers, my home from me, only to have me die here. He happened. The hunger that fills this vessel. It is power but it consumes without end. It is that power we felt on Onderon that Vaklu felt. It was an echo, too strong to ignore. General Vaklu and I, when it seemed that we would need more to take Onderon, make it strong again, he came with his power, his soldiers. It seemed as if there was nothing we could not do, nothing the Queen could do to stop us. I have served the wrong master. He cares nothing for Onderon, its soldiers, its people. Everything exists to feed his will. I came here, to this dead ship, and now he will not permit me to leave. This ship, it is a graveyard of a terrible battle. Everything on it slowly dies, as long as he hungers. It is the way of all life that serves him. In his presence, all life dies. This ship is from Malachor. This Sith Lord of yours bolsters his fleet with ships from that world? He's nothing more than a scavenger. I think he is of that place. If so, then his power may be great indeed. Greater than I had thought. The Master suffers. If he cannot feed, then the hunger begins to consume him. The planet, Telos, he may feed on something upon its surface to sustain him a while longer. You think to lie to me still? I will not be deceived again. 
I told him, you know, what the old woman told me. I told him of the Academy here, of the Jedi here. I could not have kept it from him, even if I had wanted to. He means that Jedi witch you travel with, Kreia. Yes, the old woman on Onderon. She spoke of the Jedi Academy here on Telos, and my master was forced to come here. Then her lies will mean the planet's destruction. He will destroy all of Telos. He will turn it to fire again and crush the planet beneath him. He will devour them all. Murder them all. If there are no Jedi here, then my lord cannot feed his hunger. He will destroy the planet, the station. He will cleanse it of life. Even if the people below are not Force-sensitive, the small amount he can feed on from the mass destruction of the station and the life on the planet will sustain him a while longer. And if there are no Jedi below, he will have no other choice. Then he will suffer. Without something to sustain him, I do not know what will happen. He will create nothing. He will end this place. Your old woman has killed this planet, and with it, countless other worlds that depend on its survival. You could not stop him even if you wanted to. And you cannot escape either. If the Force runs through you, he will feed on it when Citadel Station dies. Your time, your life, will end. Here. On the bridge. He waits on the bridge. Waiting for you. No, he does not wait for you. I do not believe he knows his ship has been boarded. And if he did, he would not care. The extent of his power cannot be put into words. And his perceptions have grown as well. To him, you are dust motes in a storm, a grain upon the beach, and as insignificant as a body that orbits the graveyard of Malachor. Fight him if you will, but if he turns his power upon you, you will be destroyed. My only crime was under on salvation, and now those hopes have turned grey. Kill me now! before they are stripped from me, forever. You are right. The choice was mine. And you knew what would happen to me. There is nothing to be done except wait. If you go to him, he will destroy you. And your last moment shall be of shadow and pain. Onderon, but there's no longer any need. You are right. As long as he exists, Onderon is in danger. The galaxy is in danger. What would you have me do? Go report to the target site, Colonel. I'll let my men know you're coming. And if you try anything stupid... They'll shoot you dead. I will do as you ask, for Onderon's sake. We shouldn't waste our time with the weak.
door leads to the bridge and my former master. If you wish to gather your strength, this is the last time. He doesn't understand. He thinks he can survive it. Ah! <laughs> 
I saw a graveyard world, surrounded by a fleet of dead ships. I felt it through him, as I feel it through you. You are my master now, and I will follow wherever your path takes you. My path is at an end. Andrus, are you all right? Get away from me. I don't need your help. Just leave me here. Candorus, the Force lies in all living things. I have watched my people die. You will survive. You have no choice. You have been wounded before and lived, Mandalorian. Rise. Many battles do you still have left in you. You sound like Revan. what he told me in those last days on the Outer Rim. <laughs> that the Mandalorian Wars were our doom, and that we had been deceived. That it had never been our decision to wage war on the Republic. Revan said the Mandalorians didn't invade the Republic space ten years ago because it was our choice. We were tricked. Our entire people sacrificed as pawns and never knew it. He said there was a war coming, that it was waiting out in the unknown regions, in the dark, waiting for us to destroy each other. A war? This war? No, not this one. Another one. More terrible. Against an evil we couldn't begin to comprehend. A war of belief that had been fought for thousands of years. Revan went off to fight it. And left you here. Revan was one of the greatest military leaders in the galaxy. In history, he knew what he was doing. And I always follow orders. 